That's mommy going here. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. Are you going to come sit up here? Hi guys, so welcome back to the Knitting Expat Podcast channel. I am here with my daughter Layla. We've just gotten home after picking her up from nursery, so if she looks a little bit dishevelled, it's because she's been playing outside in the sand and dirt and mud all day and having the best time. So, yeah, you want to help mummy open the packages? All right, can you come sit down first? Mummy will give them to you and you can open them one at a time. How's that sound, huh? So I have a fibre haul to share with you today and I'm going to have Layla help me. So, first up, these are things that I've got from four different places over the last few weeks. Yeah, are you going to hold these up? What colour is this one? Blue! Oh, come on, you know this colour. What colour is it? Blue! It's your favourite colour. It's red. Red, red. Yeah, what colour is it? Look at that. Oh, wow, what colour is that? Uh, you want to take it out? Yeah. Oh, wow. Is that a ball of fibre? I have more. There'll be more, but can you show it to the camera? Oh, wow. So this is 100 grams of the Harvest Hues in the pomegranate colourway from John Arbin Textiles. So the first lot of stuff I'm showing you is from John Arbin. Should you put that back in there? Thank you, Layla. Do you like that one? Yeah. Is it pretty? Yeah, I get more. Yeah, more stuff. <laughs> okay. And then we also have with the same theme. We ha also have 100 yeah. grams of the Harvest Hues in the Sycamore colorway. Sorry, 200 grams of the Harvest Hues in the Sycamore colorway. What color is this one? I got it out. Layla, what color is it? I got it out. Yeah, okay, you got it out. Oh, thank you. What color is it? Blue. No, it begins with a G. It's G. G, -g green. green. Green, well done. We're working on colors right now, so. In there then to go with this i thought to spin with it because this harvest hues no, is really no, no. lovely and heathered um they had john arbin in their mill member i'm a mill member at john arbin and i highly recommend it um they have a special mill members page where sometimes they put up fibers and yarns that isn't available otherwise and on that section they had some corydale dyed corydale top all the fiber from john arbin is top they're a worsted mill and um, so I got 200 grams of this dyed Corydale in their green to go with the harvest, potentially to go with the harvest hues. Looking at them now, the colors are quite different. This green is quite, is a cool green, whereas the sycamore is quite a warm green. So I'm not sure they'll go well together, but in either case, I will definitely be using this Corydale. Is that pretty? Yeah. Was it soft? Okay, I'm gonna put it away. And then lastly, the last thing I got from John Arbin was 400 grams of their plain white Polworth to go with the Polworth I've already spun up from them. I really love this fibre and it's spun so beautifully. Look at this one, it's a big ball. Is that a big one? A big one. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Big! Big, yeah. Could you show it to the camera? Can you hold it up? Big! Yeah. There we go. Big ball. Big ball. Does Layla like it? Is it soft? Yeah. Is it squishy? Yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. So that was everything I got from John Arbin. And then another thing that I got was from my fiber share partner, Lou. And she um, had posted on Instagram that she dyed up this braid. It wasn't quite what she was looking for, so she was looking to sell it. So I... Open! <laughs> open? Okay, we'll open it. Um, so I was like, okay, I will take it. I really loved all the colours. And as, now Layla's insisting we open it. So yeah. this is 100 grams of uh, Merino roving. Pretty. Is it pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Should we put it around your neck? Shirt. Shirt? Or, or did you, is it like a snake? Yeah. Is it like a snake? What does a snake say? Well done. Should we put it around your neck so we can show everyone the colours? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Can I have it? Thank you, Layla. So it's this really lovely purples and no, oranges no, no, and yellows. No, no, no. Are we finished? Are we finished with this one? Yeah. Is it beautiful? Do you like it? It reminds me of like, um, like potpourri almost. Like the colours kind of remind me of dried flowers or potpourri. Put it around your neck like a scarf. Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah. You like that? You're going to wear it? Okay. Done wearing it. Um, that's that one. Then... I want more. Yeah, there's more. Don't worry, there's more. And then I placed an order with Spin Jones whilst we were on holiday. Open. No, we're not going to open this one. We're just going to show it. Can we show it? Okay. So they're two bats, uh, 50 grams each, dyed the same. Not dyed the same, well, I mean, cut up the same. And this is in the Bayou colorway. And it is 21 micron merino and fire star. So this is, it's a lovely gradient bat. So I'm looking forward to spinning them up individually and then plying them together. And Layla is opening up the little sample that I sent. Yeah, what is it? Oh, it's a card. It's a card. Cut. Yeah, but what else is in here? Can you get the other thing in there? Yeah. What's that? Pretty. Is it pretty? <laughs> Can you show it to the camera? It's a little sample. It's a little rainbow yeah. sample. Of, um, can I read it? Can I read it? It's the... I'm trying to read the label. Maybe it would let me. Let it snow glow. Um, it's like a merino fire star blend in rainbow colours. Can you put that back in here? Yeah. Good girl. Like yeah, good girl. You want to keep the card? You want to put it back? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well done. All right. And then uh, once we got back, recent like a few days, well, I guess Bye. last week, yeah. end of last week, um, Spin Jones had another shop update and there were some things in there that I had my eye on and some things that were new. And so I was like, okay, why not? I was in a, I was in a mood to buy stuff recently. So, yeah. You go bouncing. You bouncing? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't think we should bounce on the sofa, honey. I don't want you to fall over. Oh, oh can you show them what's in this bag? Yeah. Oh, that hit mommy in the face. So I bought 100 grams of blended top um, 23 micron merino mulberry silk and bamboo in the smoky plum colour. It's really beautiful. I don't want to take this out because it's not braided and I don't want it to go everywhere with Layla right now. Um, so that's really, really beautiful. And then we're going to open the next one. Yeah. You take this one out. No? Mummy will do it? You're playing with the sample? Yeah. Okay, she sent a couple more samples with this order as well. But then I also got a 100 gram blender top again, merino and mulberry silk this time in the frog colour. Again, can you tell like I'm really into these kinds of warm yellow greens right now. Um, it is one of my favourite sort of shades of green, the sort of like warm green. Don't know how else to describe it. Then she had one of these little, I don't know what, what are they? She calls it the Seafarer set. It's Sailor's Delight, There's a Stormer Coming, Sea Shanty, Ahoy, and Sea Monster. So those are the colorways. Sailor's Delight. So there we go. These are the colors. So the first one is Sailor's Delight. Then we have um, There's a Stormer Coming, Sea Shanty, Ahoy, and Sea Monster. So basically all sea themed um, colors. And these are Blended Top, um, Merino and Baby Alpaca, Mulberry Silk, and Tussin Silk. So this should be beautiful to work with. I'm really looking forward to playing with these. And finally, Layla, do you wanna can you pull that out for mommy? Wow, what's this? What do you think of this one? Just obsessed with that little bit of sample that you're trying to open. Is it? You trying to open it? Yeah. No. We're not gonna open it now, honey. You can, you can play with that. Sorry about her crinkling in the background, but it's easier yeah, than... Mom, open it now. No, we're not going to open it now, honey. Okay. That's it. 
And the last thing I got was this um, rainbow pack called Zinnia Garden. It's seven 20 gram um, merino mulberry silk top blends. And I didn't realize when I purchased it, but I realized after the fact when she posted on Instagram about it, that this is um, her tour de fleece sort of set, along with um, she had some of this color garden pebbles to be like the coordinating to go with it. But I just got this. I have some other fibers that I could use as like a coordinating thing. And again, I'm looking forward to spinning this up. I'll probably save this for tour de fleece since that's what this was for. So I thought that'd be a good opportunity to use it then. And the other one I forgot to mention is 100 grams. So there's five 20 gram bits. And this one is seven 20 gram bits. So this is 140 grams total. So that's what I got from Spin Jones. And I will link all of these shops below this video. And let's see if you managed to figure out how to open it. Do you yeah. want to open it? Okay. Yeah. Do yeah. Can you get it out? Yeah. Uh. A little sample in the harbour light colour. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. Is it pretty? I don't put it back. Well, now you want to put it back. All that effort just for two seconds of holding it. Can mommy have a look? Can I look at it? Play it up. Can you show it closer to the camera? Can we open it? Look, can we open it up like this? Yeah. Look, like this. Oh, yeah. Can you see all the different colours? Yeah. Oh, wow. Really? Is it soft? Oh wow. Oh, hello. Oh wow, you made a little loop. Oh, should we put it in your hair like this? A little crown. Is that fun? Oh, what's wrong? What happened? Oh my. That was a pretty little sample. And then the last thing I ordered, Lemon. yeah, this is the last one, was from um, Hilltop Kate. Can you help me pull that? Oh! Can you show that to the camera? You, no, 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 we're not opening this one, Layla. Listen to mummy. So this is a gradient pack. Uh, it's 140 grams of uh, top. Okay, wait, wait, Layla, wait. Um, Shetland, mulberry silk, and merino. Um, in the Holly Festival colour set. Big! The colours there. It's a big! Yeah, there's a big one in there, isn't it? There's a big one. Yeah. There's two things in this bag. Here you go. Big one. Should we open it? This one we can yeah. open. So I've got two of her braids. The first one that Layla has pulled out is a braid of, um, Superwash BFL and Raimi. And the Raimi is like the lighter colour in there throughout. I just thought it gave a really interesting sheen and... Oh, dang it! Okay, you're showing it? Yeah? What colours can you see? Is it like a snake? Yeah. Okay, well while she's playing with that, I'll show you the other braid. And the other one is this rainbow loveliness, which is a superwash, cheviot, silk, and nylon blend. Mom, mommy, yes, honey. that one. Okay, so this was, was a 100 gram braid. This is actually a 200 gram braid. This is actually, and this is her, this blend is her sock blend. So this is um, intended to be used for socks. Very sick. Yeah. So it's cheviot, silk, and Very nylon. Sick. And the cheviot is superwash, so it's suitable for socks. And it's dyed in a, in a way called um, mirror dyed, essentially. So you can see in the middle, the colors sort of go in a rainbow gradient into the middle and then back out again. 
So you should be able to split this braid in the middle and um, spin two 60 gram braids, skeins for socks. So that's my ultimate goal, I guess, for the end of Mom. the spin along to be able to spin a sock yarn. Oh, oh, my name yeah. Anyway, so this is the rainbow braid that I got from Hilltop Kate. Uh, Hilltop Cloud, sorry. She's Hilltop Kate on um, Instagram, so I think I might have said that wrong. Hilltop Cloud is the name of the company. Kate is the dyer behind the company. Potty. No, oh, did you? The potty. You found your potty? Yeah. So this is the BFL Raimi. Show it a bit more up close. Just really lovely muted um, like colours, purples into oranges, yellows and greens. Alright, can we stop talking about the potty now? <laughs> and then finally, again, this wasn't something I'd seen in her shop before, but um, when I saw it, I knew I couldn't pass it up. And that is a 200 gram bag, goodie bag of assorted fibres, blended comb top, mixture of fibre types and dye styles uh, in there so it's just a little goodie bag of bits of top and and yeah so again i will probably be using some of these to make bro lags and play about with on my blending board but also for just like spinning little samples and trying out new techniques um yeah so i love getting these little grab bags um like i've said before that these sorts of things just they come they come across to me like knitted um like spinners mini skeins or the equivalent of mini skeins for spinners and uh yeah anyway sorry <laughs> if you found this a bit distracting with layla but uh, and normally i would have sat at the dining table which would have been a little bit more structured with her but um the lighting is really weird over there right now so we're sat over here by the sofas and um yeah considering it's the end of the day and she's just gone back from nursery she, this went a lot better than it could have gone and I now have a ton of fibre to clean up, so I guess I better sign off. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed Layla's opinions on all the different colours and things that we've got. Yeah, is that a little uh, coaster? Are you going to put it back? Yeah. Good girl. Um, <laughs> I will catch you guys later. Can you come say goodbye? Can you come around here and say goodbye? Don't touch it, Layla. Don't touch the camera. Can you come sit down and say goodbye? Say bye bye. Can you wave? Layla, come here. Can you wave and say bye? Bye bye. Do you want milk? Yeah. Should we go get milk? Yeah. Okay, can you say bye? Okay. Eh? Uh yeah. Bye. I can go. Go go. No, do we go? Say go. You wanna go? Yeah. Okay. Say go. Are oh, you trying to help me pack up? Say go. A prisoner. Can you say bye? Bye.